Yeah, um, really guys, today we'll be talking about box modeling. <clears throat> so, uh, box modeling is um, a kind of way of controlling our elements, that's our content on, in HTML. So, when any content you have in your web browser, your web page, the way you, con the way you control it, the way you modify it is what, is what uh, box modeling is all about. So now, box modeling contains just four things. The way you are, you are looking at it here, we have what's called the margin, border, padding, and content. Like I said, box modeling just controls the way you modify your content. So if you want to render a good content, you know, CLS controls the visual presentation of our element, that our content on the web page. So if you want to control that, you need to know about box modeling because all contents that all your HTML elements they are they are they are they are based on this box model. So if you don't know how to modify those those contents, they won't be rendered very uh, okay, very interactive to the user. So that's the purpose of doing <coughs> knowing about box modeling. So now the four major things you need to consider is what's the margin. Three things you need to consider because these are the contents here, but we need to consider what the margin border and the padding so the margin is anything outside the whole of your content anything outside if you can see this line we have here this kind of images is telling us the real aspect of the boss model so the margin is acting outside here like this you can see outside the whole of the content followed by what the border you can see this is the border here then we have what the padding next so the anything between the margin and the board and the padding is what is what we have is what we call the border so the border you can define any kind of border property like border rights border top like that so those then these three values the margin the border party they have four values you can see like four values in terms, in terms of four coordinates margin top you can apply your value margin right apply your value margin bottom apply your value the margin left apply value likewise the border padding as well so now this is a kind of re scripture of how how uh, it looks like now you can see you can divide your value here like like look at this image now we have a margin of 50 pixels right 30 uh left right 30 bottom 50 left 30 likewise the border so the border here is what five pixels top right five pixels bottom five pixels left five pixels. likewise the pattern as well so the whole of this here the whole of this thing here is just the content the content so the way everything is modified here is what is what we call the box model so this is what we call css box model all right so let's go into the practical to do some practical aspect of the box model now I have a HTML file here and CSS file straight away. So I just start by creating a div with the class of container to explain. So inside that, inside the container, I want to have each one. Then inside the gain, I want to have a paragraph. So the paragraph should just have a lorem of um. I want to have so okay. That is creating. So I need to do something like this. Lorem, yeah. Lorem of okay of 20. Yeah, so this is just creating so I can just do that here. Alright, this is what I want to create here. So then I'll just come here and say box modeling. So if I say margin zero, margin add outside, outside a particular word element. So when I'm using general selector, I'm targeting all the elements we have on our web page i'm targeting all the elements the original selector is referring to what all the elements in our web page so i also declare this property to all of them to override the default style of the browser so because the browser renders some uh properties on this margin and padding to our elements so that when you uh open your browser you will see some space around these elements so that's the margin and the padding that the browser is rendering so we want to remove the default padding and margin so zero pixels margin zero pixels and border box box sizing border box all right now let me comment out this and let's check the result of this so i refresh you can see the we have was 
the bus building and the paragraph. You can see we have some space around it. You can see there's some space. So that's telling us that oh, we have some default padding and margin because you, you can see the space here is defined by the margin and padding. You can see like there's a margin top and margin bottom. We can also check what is going on here, right here. So the way we visualize our CSS box model on the browser is inside the developer console. That's the developer tools. So if I want to check that, I can calculate the amount of margin and padding on this element here or or, or on any other element. So let me just right click on that element, right click on that element, then let's go to inspect. So when you click on inspect, that will take you to the developer tools. Then we can visualize a lot of things that's applied, a lot of properties that's applied to that element. So that is coming up. All right. Now, if you look at this, we have our elements here, which is talking about the whole of HTML here. Then inside this style, you can see our CSS part. I have some things right here. So if you look at what I just created, because I've commented out the properties inside this uh, general sector declaration block box, you can see I've commented that's why we are not seeing it. But look at what I'm talking about. Now you can see the browser renders some space, margin block starts. 0.7 you can see those that so once you remove those default style on that browser do you cannot you cannot de select those properties because it's user agent stylist so it's based on the user agent meaning the browser exactly so now we can visualize the amount of padding that is affected by this word element now if you look at this we have margin 21 points you can see the margin we have there we have the map border no padding only margin you can see that so we want to remove, remove all the default style of those margin and padding right here so when i just come here and do that that will remove everything so we are going to have a no space on our element no space you can see i'm using the live server that's why it's refreshing by itself so you can see box sizing mod modeling you can see the space is removed and you can see here the margin is what is removed totally you can see so we can define our margin and padding ourselves now now, all right, so when you check this, let's target our container. So I want to apply a kind of visual. One page of solid uh, red, solid red. Then I want to make this kind of center so that we are going to see what's moving, what's going on on the web page. So mass width of uh, 600 is okay. And imagine. The next value here, I want to have a height, height of 500 pixels. Now, let's see that. Top right, bottom, bottom left. So, if you want to remember this, you can just use this particular uh, code this thing, like saying, oops, like saying uh, trouble, T-R-B-L, yeah, something like that, trouble. So, we use the word trouble to just like just to, uh, for abbreviation just to abbreviate this so that we can remember easily i guess so that what we call trouble so if you remember this oh you can see we have top right bottom left and this e like that so now that's just the, to remember anyway so we have likewise for the padding so let me just explain the whole of this so if you have four values you have four values you have top right bottom left we are talking to the top right bottom left so I can decide to apply only top right bottom left here. So but if I have if I have two values, it's talking to top and bottom, top and bottom, and left and right. So that is giving us so we have two values like this. You're talking to the top and bottom immediately, top and bottom. Then the seven values was left and right. That's what we have here. So I'm talking to the top and bottom of this container. I want to have a zero pieces. I don't want to have any space around I, outside the enemy. I don't want to have any space. But left and right, the left and right should be auto. So auto means you are setting equal equal space between the left and the right. So that it's going to be centered. So the browser is going to set its own equal space. If it's apply your own space, it's not going to be okay for the browser because this is rendering a complete like of a, a complete equal space on your screen so if you view this particular page on any screen size it's going to be center like this that was the secret about it so we cannot define our own yet that's why we allow the browser to, to do that for us so if you increase the screen size here, 
that will also increase the margin or to left and right you can see so that is very very necessary to center our element as well but you can see the margin is outside the margin is outside the 172 172 just build on the way i'm increasing the screen size you can see so if you apply just two values you're talking toward the top bottom at the same time the second value is talking to the left and right so now let's talk about let me now so let me go by selecting some elements inside so container each one so uh yeah let me apply a uh, border as well to this element so that we want to see exactly what is going on solid let me just apply like green on this element so what i want to do here is i want to apply a margin let's see how margin works here let's see how margin works so let's define another value 40 pixels margin right let's check that at the right hand side if you have some space now you can see we have a, another space 40 pieces you can see you can see that so that's giving us that space at the right so we can specify so let me specify the rest at the same time sorry margin left margin left hand side okay margin left should be 30 pieces as well and um, margin left should be 40 pieces and so if you want to use the shorthand we can just come here and define our shorthand like that short and don't forget top top and bottom and left and right so i just come here comment out this and say okay top and bottom margin slash right and last one is what bottom as yeah, simple as that so it's taking us that okay you want to define the word when you have a three value side you are defining what top as 30 the second one is what left and right and the third one is what is bottom so that's what that one is doing for so we have to define but four values is taking this like that top right bottom left so the same things are able to margin also so on this elements here this comment is too much check padding padding so if i just come here and change you can also break it down these are the short and for border as well you can see border right border top border like that like that so if i specify what i specify here i can do it in one pro, just one by one like we do for the margin top margin bottom instead of you doing border one piece of solid green that is on short short and also okay i want to define your border width followed by the border uh shape you want to define and followed by the border color so i just say border let's do like 80 pieces so left and right should be 80. now let me check this again you can see it's like compressing the content now if you check let's click on the paragraph and see let's click on the paragraph you can see we have a space you can see it's inside but if i use margin look at what margin we do for me i say margin we don't, we don't have we don't have any space so i say 20 pieces left and right so when you check this now you need to see a kind of let's check the uh, box model you can see we have a margin outside but the pattern is actually what inside you can see you can see but we don't have any border there so that explain the basic understanding about what about the post model so you can play around with the other properties like the margin top margin right so what's boss model is just to render our contents it will be like okay more interactive to the user so without boss modeling it should be very difficult to make your contents rendered properly on the web page so uh that's all thank you thank you very much